Alex here from the Kindergarten Connection, and today we are diving into a brand new episode of Teacher Tips. This one's a quick one, all about something super famous in pre K and kindergarten the alphabet. I'm going to share my top three things I love to do to have an alphabet party with my class. So let's get started. Number one, alphabet snacks. Now, snacks can be a tricky situation because in some places you are allowed to have food in the classroom and others you're not, depending on what it is. And there's lots of rules that are going to vary depending on where you teach. But if you are allowed to have snacks in the classroom from a package, or maybe you're like, I wanna do this at home with my own kids, here is my tip for alphabet snacks. Now I like to use alphabet cookies or crackers as well as alphabet gummies, like here's the letter T, here's the letter H, and I don't give that many to my students because for this activity here, I have this as a free printable for you as well, they don't need very many things. They just need a small handful, and this is alphabet snacks and there's an uppercase version and a lowercase version if you head to the kindergartenconnection.com and in the search bar type letter snacks this will pop up for you and you can grab this freebie to use so they pick up their snack here's my b cookie before i eat my snack i'm gonna find the letter b i can do uppercase if i need it if my snacks are uppercase and i want them matching same same or I can do opposite case. I'm gonna color it in and then I'm going to eat my snack. Super fun, it's exciting, it's nothing that we've done before at school, so it definitely has that party vibe and they like to see what letters their friends are getting, if they get letters in their name and things like that. Now, if you're like, but I can't have snacks, don't worry. A party is as much a party as we make it. If we as the teachers are like, it's a party today, it's an alphabet party and we're so excited, no matter what you do, they are going to be so excited too, your students are. So take this paper, if you cannot have snacks, cut off the directions part at the top and just keep it filled with bubble letters and then add magnet letters to a pail or a bucket, add letter cards, anything where students can take turns coming up, pulling out a letter. You could put magnets on the end and have like a little fishing game. So many options just to make picking a paper letter different and kind of exciting and then they go color it you could even add little mini magnifying glasses you could sticker over the top really anything that's just bringing the alphabet to life in a different way that feels more like a game than maybe what they're used to and gives it that party vibe so that's number one don't forget to grab this free printable the kindergartenconnection.com type in letter snacks now next up in the alphabet fun alphabet Bingo. Now this is for print and play club members. If you go into the print and play club, you can type in alphabet bingo, or it will be in your featured section as of the recording of this video. Um, but otherwise type it in your search bar and I play until blackout. So this also comes with bingo cards. So I pull them and put them under the document camera so that students can see they cover it up. I like to use erasers. You could, if you are having alphabet snacks, with bingo instead of the other activity, or you wanna give them a little more, you could use those to cover the spaces as well. And then we play all the way until someone's card is full and we yell bingo. It is super fun, definitely gives that same party vibe. Last, alphabet songs. And this one is free to anyone. There's no download, there's no snacks, anything like that. I love to go on YouTube um, or on any CDs I have and just do different alphabet songs that aren't our traditional ABCs. So there's so many online where you can dance, move, jump. And I like to do it during our alphabet party um, in the middle and the end, like we'll have our snack printables, then we'll go meet together and we'll sing some songs. And some students will pick alphabet songs from a playlist. Then we'll have alphabet bingo. And then we'll close with more students picking songs from our alphabet playlist. So really, it's a big chunk of your day, maybe in your literacy block, won't take the whole day, but maybe a good chunk of your literacy block that you're just devoting to celebrating the alphabet together. Students will totally remember it. And plus, how fun does it sound to say, guess what kids, we are having an alphabet party today. I mean, only in pre-K and kindergarten, right? I love it, I hope they love it too. Don't forget to grab your freebie, print and play clubbers. Do not forget to go grab Alphabet Bingo. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you again soon for the next episode of Teacher Tips. Happy teaching. Thanks for joining us for the lesson. 
At The Kindergarten Connection, we are all about making learning fun for students and for teachers. Be sure you check out the quick links below or head to thekindergartenconnection.com where you can get more resources for your classroom and request your invitation to our pre-K and kindergarten teacher membership, the Print and Play Club. Happy teaching!